Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver, Heart Gold, Supreme, Elite, Magnitude, DX, Unlimited. I am the Invader Pixel Doctor. I'm the Lighthouse Scaler Fexic. And I am Deadlock with the Monster. <laughs> Zach, how often did you get to that lighthouse near where we used to live? Not that often, honestly. There's really not much reason to go over there. Well, my brother and I actually used to make a uh, kind of like a workout after it. Uh, you know those uh, those long jetties that run from the house itself down the beach, the ones with the flat tops. Yeah, I remember. So we would um, we would basically start at the base of the lighthouse, run down to that like to the end of that long concrete dock they have there, shimmy through the bars on top of the rock, run the rocks pretty much the entire length of that beach. As soon as we hit the end, cross back over to the sand, sprint back to the lighthouse via the sand, and then up the lighthouse in the first one to the top one. It's a long race. It is. Or is that, was, that, rather. That, it, that, that is a long stretch of stonework. I mean, yeah, the whole thing took about 30 to 40 minutes. Then there's a nature walk over there. It's been there for years, but I just felt like bringing it up. Oh yeah, there. Uh, that was uh, that was the first time I actually saw what poison ivy looked like. Good, it's a good thing to know what it looks like. Oh, leave very much. Three, so. leave them be. <laughs> yeah, a very good thing to know because there is a lot of it in, in East Texas. I, th I think that's where yeah. I first seen a horseshoe crab. Oh, yeah, man, those things, to this day, they still look like aliens to me. They do, but they're cool little things. They are cool uh, things. I mean, they're right up there with crocodiles, like ancient beings who have had really no reason to change the way they look or operate for millions of years. And they're basically harmless. Oh, not, yeah. Not entirely, because they do have that barb on the, on, their, on the tail, but... Well, yeah, don't step on them, obviously, but their claws on their undersides, like... There are videos of people like holding their fingers inside of those claws. They can't hurt you if they tried. Yeah, no, like they when we I forget which aquarium it was. I want to say it was the Camden Aquarium or something. Jenkinson's, I think it was called. I'm thinking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Jenkinson's. They got that uh, that big megalodon jaw over there. Yeah. <laughs> they had a white crocodile or like a white alligator for a little while. Or the albino one. Yeah. That was years ago, but they did have one for for a time. Now, was it, uh, is it albino, or was it that other thing that's like albinism, but not? I think it was albino, but I can't quite remember. Like you said, this was, this is like when I was like third grade around that time, so this is a long time ago. Hmm. And obviously, it, more than likely that, I think that alligator is definitely alive, but who knows how big it is now. I mean, they're one of those things where if they keep eating, they keep growing. Yeah. They do, their lifespan's long. It's not like it's not like the lobster where they can live forever, but it, they, they they live definitely long enough to give you pause. Yeah. Not an animal. And I, I think <laughs> I might actually go and do. Uh, actually, I love, no. I love going to the aquarium and into the zoos. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's always fun. The There's nice a. Thing, uh, I'll let you go first before I say what I was gonna say. Oh, there's a um, a Houston Zoo that um, I managed to get around to recently. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be, but the uh, the animals exhibited or on exhibit there are still nonetheless impressive. Yeah, I've been to a few zoos. Obviously, down here I've been to Cape May, which uh, there's by the way. In case you want to know if your zoo is treating these animals to the uh, to their standards, there is a oh, website. Wait. I'm hey. blanking on what it's called. But you can go there, you can check out your website, and if, and if your zoo is on the website, they uh, they meet all the requirements to uh, say they have these animals treated properly. Forget what it's called, but it is there. And Cape May Zoo is one of the ones up there. I hate myself. What did you do? I did mm, That path from Olivine, the, that water route, mm -hmm. I encountered a tentacruel, or a tentacool, and I instinctively ran from it. Ah, oh, that that's I mean that's that's bad. Fucking hell. Yep, you, you'll have more chance to get it, but like not for a little I bit. Know. Yeah, that 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 was a rough loss. Also, especially because getting one early you could avoid something annoying later. Yes, I know. And I just reflexively went down to run and, and like as soon as I hit the button, I was like, no! Oh, uh, but the damage was done. Yeah, this is why when it comes to games like these, when I just want to save as much time as possible, 
Never run from an encounter unless you really need to. Well, I'm trying to... We have a level cap, so I can't just kill everything we run into. Yeah, that's the that's the main problem. That's why I'm I was being cautious and I avoided every trainer up going up to Lake Rage. I can come back to them later if I need to. Oh, I've already cleared all of them out, so I'm not worried about that. Well, like I said, my levels well, are a little higher. I'm going so. to need the XP from either that, the lighthouse, or the rocket base. So, need to oh, I came out. over here for a guard spec. Lame. Did I heal? I think I did, but I'm blanking. Oh joy, luck. It's not an awful move. It's I mean, it's great. 80 power. Is it 80? I thought it was 50. It was either 80 or 60, one of the two. Let's find out. Pretty sure it's 50. I know it's not that weak. What does this do? 60. Oh, that takes me back here. All right, well, 60 is not awful. It's probably better um, than... Whatever you had, it's better than Wing Attack and Peck. Oh, I can't get it's this on. Yet. It's on par with Aerial Ace, though. Yeah, well, with Aerial Ace, you, you get the advent of never missing, but with Pluck, you get the advent of stealing berries that they may or may not be holding. Although, that's a good point, and thinking about it... Wait, I'm sorry, did these Rocket Grunts just rob me? <laughs> did you go, if you went through the, the gate, yes. Because realistically, when is when is Fury Attack ever going to be useful again? Never. Really, just never. I mean, Pursuit's really not that useful anymore either, but... It's at least a dark move. Yeah, fuck Fury Attack, it's getting plucked instead. Especially because Fury Attack has, I think, 85 accuracy, so it's not even worth using it. Uh, and it's, a, it's a normal move, uh, so it doesn't stab. Or, not that it doesn't stab, it doesn't uh, super affect anything. Yeah. Okay. That and if I come back on Sunday, I think I can go up to the department store and get return, which is just better in every conceivable way. Ooh, I should try to remember to get that myself, too. That's just a, ow, a good move to have. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait for Hoenn where I end up getting a slack off because I always get lucky in the forest. And I... uh, I don't mind. Slacking is a good Pokemon. It's got the worst, one of the worst abilities, but it's a good Pokemon overall. Yeah, I would argue Truant is probably the second worst ability right after Slow Start. Probably. I can't think of anything that actively hinders you. Uh, defeat us. <laughs> oh, true. But that only works when your Pokemon's below half, and... Yeah, right. you can work around that. Yeah. I guess that you could also argue Emergency Exit, but... You can well, argue emergency, emergency emergency exit, but it really doesn't hurt your Pokemon. But considering how slow um, Galissapod is, if you're not using priority moves a lot, first impression. you're probably going to be forced out before you can. Yeah, well, that's why they gave it first impression. Yeah. And well, the Mirror has a lot of priority. It has that, it has Sucker Punch, it has Aqua Jet. Well, then there you go. That's its, uh, is this the gen where Shelter got fucking Skill Link? Uh, I think so. I don't think it was its hidden. What, I think it, no, Shelter is one of the ones that just gets it. Yeah. Because its other one is, I think, Shell Armor or Overcoat, one of those two. Uh, I think it was Shell Armor. I unlock Can the doors. I help you? Where'd your pacifier go? He's hiding in their leader's office. Unfortunately, that is protected with the password. We need the password to their leader's office. I know. I know, Lance. I'm working on it. I'm always worried that the, I mean, I have my graveler out the front, so it doesn't matter, but I'm always worried that these balls in the in the middle of the room are going to be an electrode. Snatch. Uh, snatch is never a great move. I did like how I used it on my bayonet uh, when we were doing PokeMMO in Hoenn on a rerun. I thought it was fun to use it that way. Poor bayonet. I tried to... Oh, I for a second. What happened? I was, trying, I was talking about Bayonet and using Snatch because you can get the Snatch TM and the Rocket Hideout. Hmm. This dude has a Ditto. He has to waste a turn transforming, though. Uh, 
Oh, shit. Welp, Magikarp has been caught. What level is the Magikarp? 11. That's gonna be nice for the XP share, though, if I need it. <laughs> no, Blaze, Blaze Blue, you will not learn Bide. The Pineco is level 20. He's very quickly catching up in level. So what's going to happen when it evolves into Fortress and it's no longer blue? You know, this, it, listen, I just based the name off a game I haven't played, so I gave it to him. Then it'll be Rad Red. Hmm. Is that a protein? Uh... Damn, none of well, you. Well, let's users. see how this Gyarados goes. Mm. Uh, I really gotta. I don't know what I need for Mount Mortar to get to the the guy that has the tie road. I don't either. Honestly, that's one of those locations that I always pass up in this game. Yeah, but I need to go for it because there's really not many options in terms of physical offense. Do yeah, I even buy the Thunder Wave in it first? Uh, if you if you have your Electro type out, I would just go for. Just be careful. If it crits, it probably will kill, because it did do a lot of damage to my Flappy. Well, it it didn't kill or crit, and I did half health. So I forget, Zach. Were you going for uh, boxing, Aikido, or Capoeira? Going for boxing, because I hit, out of the three, first of all, hit much hands my favorite, and Makes in, the, in this gen, he has the most diverse move pool. I mean, Gyarados even down. it might just be a later gen thing, but hit on top, in my opinion, not stellar. No, I, I was thinking it does the same get thing. intimidate though, which is something that noteworthy. Is, that is good, but I don't think that really saves it. It only gets intimidate, it, it gets rapid spin, and, and later gens with rapid spin gets a speed boost. It helps, but Hitmonchan also gets rapid spin. I think Hitmonlee actually gets it too. Never mind. You know what? It doesn't help hit him on top at all. Oh, I got half the password. Radicate tail. Oh, fuck me. I must politely decline. Ugh, freaking asshole coming at me with six Pokemon. No, they're probably all weak. The opener was a 16 tentacle, so yeah. I mean, at this point, this is where the level leveling issue is going to be, because a lot of these guys are going to be in the teens range. Yeah. This is where this is this is when it becomes noticeable with the uh, the Johto problem. I mean, every okay. gen's got their own issues, but this one, I feel like, is the most annoying. I feel like it doesn't really become a problem until you factor Nuzlocke into the equation. No, it definitely becomes a problem later if you're trying. No, it's, I'd still say it's a problem in base game. Just that Nuzlocke exacerbates the issue. <laughs> Honestly, the Nuzlocke's making it better. Is it? Honestly. Is that I'm not getting You lose a bunch of Pokemon and then all of a sudden you have to do it all over again? Well, that, that's a separate issue. Hence why I'm saying it exacerbates the issues. <laughs> I can't risk losing you yet. It's not like Fire Red, we can't just like just retrain against everyone else for better exp and money uh, you just have to go against the lowest level pokemon around I love you. okay you know what that could have been a uh, dead graveler i i knew it i knew it i knew that was gonna happen what happened? Uh, my Graveler, I got lucky, but my Graveler got absorbed by this Gloom, which did a little more than half. So, and I have really no other great options for a Gloom right now. Mm. Um, so I was like, I can either switch to Umbreon and try to whittle it down, or I can go for another Magnitude and try to KO it, because if I got a decent number, it was going to work. And I was like, I know if I do this, I'm going to roll low. And I did, I rolled a five. So... It survived, but thankfully, instead of using Absorb again, it used uh, Stun Spore. So I did not lose Graveler just yet. That's a drowsy. I don't like that. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm, we are. Uh, I'm nearly done the rocket hideout already. I'm beginning my descent into it. Mm. It's not very big. Oh. It's all. It's only like three oh. floors. I'll get there when I get there. Yeah. Well, this is a. You know what, Drowsy? You're a good fodder for my espion. Shout out all. Grappler Delete. handles most things in here with little issue. With, with the random gloom that popped up, other than that, it's had no problems. Oh, what? Still love that rocket theme, by the way. Hmm. Meh. I think it's one of the weaker themes. I'll say this, though, it's probably better than Flares, because I can't even remember what Flares sounds like. Oh, what the battle theme? Yeah, I don't. I don't remember the team flare the battle theme, honestly. I, yeah, like because I played through um, both X and Y like a couple of times just to you know go get everything, but it like I I know we've broached this topic before on this channel, but it did not leave a strong impression with me. No, it's still nor me. My, it's still one of my personal favorites, just because I think the time it came out and all the time we spent on in Gen Six as a whole. Oh, Gen like. You can Omega say that Ruby for Oras, though, is the thing. And Oras well, yeah, is just like, like, better. Like, mm. I was just about to say, is Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire? I love those. But X and Y, like, uh, again, mm. it gets a pass for being Gen 6, and that was when, like, the Sin Squad first came together and we did a lot on it. But the games, in general, did not resonate very strongly with me. Well, we're going to have to... Not really me either. We can, full, we can fully approach that topic when we uh, actually go to Duzzlock that one. That'll be definitely our easiest run through. I am hoping it will be actually harder and actually give me a challenge. Well, we'll see I when we get there. I think the only time I lost a Pokemon there was my Venusaur to the Champion's Gardevoir. And that's just because, like, oh, hey, you're going to make a ball? Fine, I'll make a showdown. Let's go at it. Like, oh, wait, you take this better. Oh, wait. I think I only that, lost Pokemon because it was like I just wanted something to be interesting. I, I know it's gonna happen, but we're gonna get there, and I'm gonna get Fennekin Finnick, as my starter, and I and Delphox is my least favorite Pokemon and out of the whole 100. I mean, 1, if we're gonna be Pokemon, going with that logic, I'm getting the Chestnut. <laughs> oh yeah, because you don't you don't like ch Chestnut. <laughs> I don't like Chestnut, and I like Quilladin even less. <laughs> Quilladin, but yes. Yeah, Which I is agree. weird because, like, it's when it comes to, like, night middle Pokemon, like, others, like, say, Bisharp, for example, I love them. I don't like these guys. I don't. It's a very goofy state evolution, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah. But then we also got Froki, who, you know, became the Greninja god. Yeah, Greninja's kind of top tier. Yeah, it was just a very good, well-executed design and move flow as well. Then they gave him a special form in Gen 7, and then they took that special form away in Gen 9. <laughs> yeah. I giveth and taketh away. Yeah, I don't understand that one. That's not even like a gimmick thing. Like, that was his own... I guess technically it was a gimmick form, but it was still his own thing. Also, the rivals down here. I forgot he was down they here. They were too so I'm, just go I'm just subscribing to the theory they were too lazy. Mm. Oh, wait. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to battle me. He's just didn't he just all right, whatever. Uh, silver. Hmm. Yeah, he he was down here, and I thought he was gonna battle me. No, but no, he does not battle you. He's just saying the uh, leader's he's, he's... a bit of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I think Lance already whooped his ass. Oh boy. I don't think at that point. I I skipped the dialogue. I wasn't paying attention. You're not Giovanni. You coward, liar. You're this. You're petrol. I Gen 2 Team Rocket, not not Prime. Rainbow Rocket, however, really cool. They're one of the best post games. Eh. Then, don't, no I, I can't say those. anything because I actually haven't done that. Jeez. <laughs> oh, well, I feel like when we get to Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, we may have to. Well, we'll figure out when we get to that may. one. The, I, I only just don't remember doing it because by the time I got to it, I was just burned out. I did not want to do more. Still. I feel yeah. like like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is another one of those ones where it feels incomplete to me. Uh, it, uh, it didn't feel incomplete. It just felt like copy paste well, with the, a little bit of editing. The, the, Alola, the Alola games kind of occupy that spot in my mind also because I feel like that's where all the recycled ideas from what was going to be Pokemon Z ended up. 
we don't even know if Pokemon Z was actually a thing. That's the thing. It, ne it never it, was. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, why it, he's it never was. It was and that's one of the away. things that irritates me because you have X and Y. You have Zygarde in the post game. Yeah, Zygarde got screwed so bad. It did. And then for for that to just end up as like a, a sub quest of all things in in uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. No, not even a sub quest. A fetch quest. <laughs> not even a fetch quest. A collection Stop quest. Trying Stop trying to shove it down your gullet. Babies are not bright. Well, yeah, their intelligence their, their intelligence is literally one. Okay, oh, Ryan, can you you stop using minimize. Hmm. Oh, be sick. Oh, you are toxic. Just so you know, petrol really easy. Doesn't not surprised. Me. He's got he's, his highest is a level 24 Raticate. He has a coughing, and I already forgot what his first level. Oh, it was a Zubat. So. Now, if he had one, I'm assuming you have the other. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to get the passwords? I'm in Chuck's gym. Oh, you're in Chuck. Okay. Well, I'm not at Chuck yet. I'm dealing with his goons, but one of them had a hit on Lee, so I'm assuming. One has a hit on Top or Chan. Yeah, it was no, very underwhelming. Yeah, and then he went and didn't. Stop it. Because you know, God forbid a, a, gen, hey, a Gen 2 gym leader have a Gen 2 Pokemon. Yeah, heaven forbid. Uh, Two of them do it late. No, three. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't get them until like the, that second half of the, of the league. It just would have been great, though. Like, the new... Like, first of all, they made Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee, like, related. Like, they now belong to the same evolutionary line. It got a baby and a new evolution, and you don't see either of them in this gym. Yeah. Okay. Didn't want to risk the Thunder Punch on that. By the way, you're saying uh, about my hair cross. Uh, hey, gets paralyzed. Good job, guts boost. Thank for it. Uh, you don't have. Yeah, you don't swarm, guts. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just unfortunate. Cool. Oh, can I? Ooh, can Jol uh, not Jolte? Um, Umbreon learn thief? Uh, Probably. I think so. I mean, Evie can learn it. Be good for him to have at least one stab move and another move aside from quick attack, because he. I do remember something that nope, I would can't. love to get for my um, uh, tentacle later, and that is Koga, one of Koga's. One of that's Koga's, weird. as I was saying, uh, one of Koga's Pokemon, if I recall correctly, has a black sludge you can steal. Hmm. hmm. That's where it is. Hail Giovanni. I just don't remember which of his Pokemon has it. And... Well, if you have something with Thief, because I clearly don't. Well, you, Thief is also something you have to be careful with because once you steal the item, well, now it's just turning damage onto you unless you have it on the Pokemon who's already a poison type. Okay, so this should, in theory, not put me too far over the bar. Oh, that was close. Did you almost get uh, the 31? Almost. Dancing on ice there. You still have another gym, so whatever that Pokemon is, you, you may only have it for the one gym. That was, frankly, it's the only thing I need her for. Hey, you calm down. Because, let's be real, when is Firo ever going to be useful in an ice gym? Oh, right, it would help if I turn the friggin' thing off. Uh, when you need to, to... When you need something else to live, and you have to sacrifice something. Yeah, because I'm totally going to sacrifice the Firo. Fuck no. There are no I sacrifices would. on my team. There's just things that hit hard and destroy mine enemies. I hope you lose more things. Oh, I, I uh, found the thing that turns off the Persian statues. Hmm? You found the what? I found the thing that turns off the Persian statue. Hmm? A little too late for me, okay. but... Now I'm fighting Chuck. I just wanted to say him over here. So, I feel like... Alright, well, tell, tell us when you beat Chuck, and then we'll finish up. I think we're over time, because I got distracted. As per usual? Hmm? It happens. I don't Killian, mind, because that means less hard. editing for me. Okay. Actually, that probably means more editing for me. <laughs> you'll, you'll see when we get to other oh, things, I uncover the badges 
because the episodes haven't come out yet, I uncover the badges once the last person has beaten the said gym. Makes sense. Oh, okay. You just blow for, that all on that. Okay. Which for a good while was me, but towards the end it became it became uh I think it became Chris and then Deadlock at the very end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, around the the Koga area was where. Oh, hello. Didn't realize I was gonna have to fight another admin here. Oh, that's right. Lance is here. Yeah, doubles. One of the only double battles I think in this game. I think there's a few, not too many though. Ha! Huh, fool. I like double battles. I wish they used it more. Same. <sighs> okay. Arbok and, Dr and Drowsy. Actually, I can deal with this pretty well. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Oh my. Are you okay over there? I don't know. Time will tell, in theory, as long as this doesn't crit. Okay. Whew. Oh, you son of a whore. I can only imagine what's going on over there. I just... Mm, did even less than last time! God is damn it, it, it's Insomnia. Is your Fear not doing the damage you expected? Oh, it's doing damage. Just, uh... Polyrath is tankier than you think it is. Yeah, it's got pretty good physical defense. And decent what? HP pool. Realizing that. Yes, Killian, I will deal with you in a minute. Alright, well, he just fucked up. Come on, Growler, this is where I need you to start getting the high numbers. Oh, wait, yeah, synchronize doesn't do pass on sleep, does it? Like, even a crit won't kill. Yeah, stupid. I win. Does synchronize not pass on the sleep status if someone else inflicts it on you? Uh, depends. Good question. Never tried. I think it does, but if it's because of a hypno, it may have insomnia. Yeah, that's why I'm not sure. <laughs> because it hit me too, and I have. I... <laughs> oh, now two you get a higher two level. What'd you say? I said two Pokemon, two levels. Like a Fearow that gets boosted experience, not to be underestimated. Never. Hmm. Fearow is like one of the least intimidating Pokemon to me. And yet it hits harder than Pidgeot. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Pidgeot's and not really be... uh, I'd really rather have I... a Fearow than a Pidgeot. And... I... Well, yeah, in that scenario, but either way, I'm not really afraid of it either. Either way, I'm done. Of course you did this and I'm uh, in this bottle there, Rihanna. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm dealing with the security. I mean, I'll I'll go and get my fly HM, I don't mind. Yeah, well, you can go do that, I'll tell you when I'm done here. I, I'm, uh -huh. I'm dealing with two more Pokemon at the very minimum. Yeah, I didn't realize this battle was here, so... I would have avoided this otherwise. Oh, these grammar are literally Aww. just a waste of time. Hmm. Thankfully, I have Lance's level 40 Dragonite on my side. Wait. Son of a bitch, I just remembered I did the exact same thing on the other route. Oh, did you run away from a tentacle again or something? Ah. Uh, I, I, think, I think you've done that more than... <laughs> no, I know you've done that more than any of us. Between this and the last this? one. This makes three. This makes three times, because I did it with the Pidgey and Fire Red, and I just did it twice, Tentacool to Tentacool. Okay, I'm, I'm at a stopping point if you want to do the thing. I'm still I'm, I'm wrapping up this battle. I'm on the last one, I think. Let's see. You know what? I'll keep Pluck around. Aerial Ace has had its time. I would rather have Aerial Ace, if I'm being honest. Yeah, well, Aerial Ace doesn't eat gym, gym seekers. Uh, uh, here I am, inside, playing video yeah, games. True. All right, now I've wrapped up with Ariana. So, uh, are you guys good, too? Yep. 
Right, I right. am. Let me just run this dialogue box. Lance, and then we're good. God damn it, Lance. Accidentally takes one step and initiates fight. <laughs> no, Lance is just talking to me. I just wanted to stop. And now... God damn it. All right, so he's going to do... Okay, now we're good. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Bye.